Hey everybody, this is Peter. In this video segment, we're going to look at Checkpoint R70's IPS. So basically do a quick walkthrough. Now, we're clicking on the actual tab here that's IPS, and one thing that you'll probably notice is that Smart Defense is now gone, or at least the name Smart Defense is now gone. Um, the IPS tab is essentially Smart Defense, uh, but on steroids pretty much best description I can think about um, at this time at night but basically the IPS has been expanded to basically a full-blown type IPS so what we want to do is kind of just provide you a walkthrough of all the little things you can now do in the IPS tab so you know for example let's go ahead we'll click on overview and in an overview here you can see a much nicer dashboard um, or kind of update screen on what shows you what's going on basically and how many gateways are enforcing IPS and so on and so on. Now we can go from in here, we can basically go edit the profiles that we have. We have default protection, recommended profiles, so on and so on. You have the security center that actually shows you the latest update or the latest filters um, that they're actually applying to the IPS product here. You can also look at your security status here different and basically look at different monitoring types as well. You can also click on the protections marked by application here or for follow-up sorry um, and in here you can actually look at some of the different protection mechanisms that you have and you can edit them from here and change your categorization. So if we go into Keylogger and double click on it you'll see in our general tab we have the type of profiles that this is actually um, within this specific filters within and in here you can basically click on your profiles um, and edit them and so on and so on you see all the different types of um, severity levels that you actually have here as well <clears throat> so if we actually go in and highlight one of our profiles we can go in and change the action and prevent on all profiles, detect on all profiles, or just deactivate this specific filter on all of our profiles. So they've made it really easy, um, the checkpoint that is, to actually edit the settings within IPS in this version in R70. So let's go in here and actually say, <clears throat> you know, prevent on all profiles if we wanted to. Now, we can also here click on follow up, as in leave in this category, and we'll come back in and follow up on this filter and change whatever settings we may like or we can go into network exceptions here and go ahead and click on new. Now within here you can change the different profile or you can basically say from corpnet, so source corpnet to you know external net and you can edit the service here as well and apply this specific exception so basically don't look at this specific type traffic um, from this network to this network and you can apply it or block it um, in any case within the actual filter itself or you can just say apply this exception to this specific firewall all right and then again from the profile on the top you can say in our recommended protection profile and go ahead and press ok so you can do that create as many network exceptions as you want because there's sometimes when you have custom applications that trigger um, IPS filters or you know whatever it may be IDS filters now I'm not saying specifically with IPS R70 here with checkpoint IPS I'm just saying in, in any case there's sometimes false positives where you have to create exceptions for um, cool part you get a description tab here that also shows you the attack ID the last update you know supported products the threat description how to mitigate it and all that and how it's detected so we'll go ahead and press OK there <clears throat> and provide more of a walkthrough here. So we can click on protection action so we can see specific details again what we want to do with specific filters okay or we can view that specific filter if it's being alerted within the logs. Alright so we're back in our profiles here if we wanted to edit a profile at a global level we can easily highlight the profile click on edit and in here again profile name comment you can change the color and you can see the action here and whether or not you put on a prevent or detect right so you can basically turn this IPS little feature into a detection engine um, for you know again false positive purposes you might uh, you know you might have that kind of mandate from management that doesn't want to prevent stuff um, on critical traffic that goes through specific segments and again you have your protection activation so you can basically say activate protections according to an IPS policy or you can activate protections manually so you can go and edit whatever you feel like and here under the IPS policy tab you can see you know for for example protections to activate you can say client protections server protections you can deactivate specific protections 
A lot of different options compared to what you had in Smart Defense R65. A lot of different things Checkpoint has done to actually um, beef up the IPS portion of their uh, of their firewall. So you can see here you can select specific categories. You know, in this case we select you know non-auto activation for denial of service type filters. You can put that in there if you feel like it. And again, within here globally, you can create um, network exceptions. Um, as well as here, update your policies. Okay, so in your network exceptions, like I said, we have the one that we've created specifically for keylogger in here. You can add them here globally or you can edit them manually. Now, in troubleshooting, detect only for troubleshooting, you can do this again. Um, if you were, you know, some sort of traffic was coming through your firewall, you've turned on IPS, um, IPS is causing something to block, or you feel like the IPS feature is causing something to block, you can turn it all on into detection mode basically to troubleshoot whether or not that is why specific traffic is being blocked through the firewall. All right, so when you press OK, it updates your settings for you. And again, we're not going to go through every single section here on the left-hand side because, well, there's a lot of different things you can look at within um, Smart Defense or now IPS. We just wanted to give you a quick walkthrough of, you know, some of the different changes if you're a Smart Defense uh, subscriber, um, some of the things you're going to get when you upgrade to R70. That's pretty much it, guys. Thanks very much for coming out. We will see you on the next one.